So happy new year, everybody. It is the start of a brand new month and welcome back to the Business Hustle. Well, so we've been back in the studio for a couple of weeks. We've been getting down, getting on with all the different things that go on whenever you hit the ground running when you're back into the new year. And it kind of got us talking about how important things are that you make goals and you make plans because have you just came back and you've got so busy with all the different things, all the, the stuff that goes on in your day-to-day -day business that you're not thinking about your plans and your goals and where you're going to be? Yeah, the, the key thing is um, why? Why did you set goals? I mm -hmm. think a lot of people go, oh, let's set a goal, let's do yes, do yes. Why? Yeah. And uh, that's one of the most important uh, things you need to ask yourself. Why am I setting a goal? Mm -hmm. Especially the new year for me is a good, year, a good time of the year to start setting goals and stuff like that. But... Uh, talking to Dave McClure, our statistician, um, I asked him, give me the date, because it used to be around, around the 27th that goals went like this. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it's now in the second Friday yeah. in January, which it, it just shows you how easy we uh, drop off goals. So we're but they are important. Yeah, and actually one of the things I noticed today is that today is Blue Monday, which is the day that everybody gets all down and depressed about they're back in the they've been off over Christmas and they're back in and this is like a terrible day and it's grey and it's moody and it's horrible but the reality is Blue Monday was made by people like us who are marketers and what they done was they made it for to force people like you into buying holidays and that's the only reason why there's a Blue Monday it's purely marketing it's nothing to do with mindset it's nothing to do with how crap your life is or how crap your job is it's to do with people trying to push you into a sale. So other people have a goal and a plan for your life and it's important for you to make a plan and a goal for your own life. Well look, it's, it's a blue Monday for the blue part of Liverpool because we sack <laughs> Rafa Benitez. Uh, but I say here there. Savage. And, and even by that date, this now uh, podcast is on the clock because we can never use this again because Rafa's been sacked. <laughs> the key thing for, um, for me in, in building goals is they are the right goals. Mm -hmm. They are quantifiable. You put dates on goals, you get outside eyes on goals. Outside eyes, when you hear me saying that, it's guys who are experienced, not your mate who's just your mate, but someone who's actually experienced, maybe in your field yeah. or in business, they'll look at that and go, Christopher, you're out of your absolute mind, son. <laughs> um, and it'd be good for, as I, as I said earlier, about putting dates on it, because you put a date on a task, that will actually ascertain whether the goal is going to happen. Because when we start to do tasks that take us towards our goals, if we're not doing the tasks in between, the reality is the goal is that's shot right. yeah. to bits. So that's one of the most important things for me coming into January and pushing on and having waypoints mm -hmm. as well as, as massive for me. Waypoint in where you're three weeks in, let us sit down or two weeks in or one week in. Let's sit down and see what have we built. Mm -hmm. The foundation, you can only build on your goal, on your business, the foundation that you lay yeah, that's right. and the key thing is if you're not going to build a strong foundation the, the reality is something's going to crumble or break off at some point. Yeah and you're just chasing yourself. So for us if you've started this year and you've maybe got busy inside your business we want to just remind you right now to go and look at the things that you started this year with, some of the goals, some of the things where you want to take your business to and if you're not, maybe not on that path or you've, you've kind of like led yourself astray with being busy come back and look at the goal and then start putting physical things in with times and dates. Put in small action points that you can do every single day and remind yourself of your yeah. goals daily. Don't be just thinking, right, I'll look at it at the start of the month and then I'll come back to it next month. Look at it every day and think, what am I doing that's taking my business from here and it's taking it forward on a, on a daily basis? So like, we're gonna leave it there, it's short and sweet. No, we're not gonna leave it there. Okay. I, I, I one thing, accountability is everything. If you uh, want to get outside eyes on it, get someone who will hold you accountable for your goals, who's not, a, who's not frightened to give you a verbal slap yeah. and say, look, get back on the track, you know, that coach, mentor type person that allows you um, to say, right, okay, but those are the right people around you, people who are not frightened of you and give you a reason. Yeah, and that's what you need, and that's probably why we made this this little podcast today. Is yeah. just to remind you to give yourself that little slap and that little prod. Stay on I your road. Stay on your goals, and have a great week. So I'm Chris. I'm Henry, and we'll catch you on the next podcast.